high resolution is high quality in stable cascade now you might have seen my previous video where we discussed sdxl versus stable cascade and i wanted to update that by showing you the kind of quality that we can get from from stable cascade that we might not be able to get from sdxl so this is an image which is about 1500 by 1000 pixels steampunk really nice but this is not the best quality that we can get inside of stable cascade this is the same subject but now we've got much higher quality just going to zoom in and maybe you can see the level of detail here this is a much more detailed render many more steps and it's also about 2000 by 2000 pixels and you begin to get really really high quality at that sort of level that's just about the same size as a 4k monitor just cut in half a guy in candyland this is more 1500 by 1500 this is a warrior an armored warrior in candyland and this is testing the ability of the software to work with complex prompts surreal images another image which is to do with steampunk now here the resolution is higher you can see we've got that sort of skin texture happening there the eyelashes the eyebrows they all look fantastic the texture in the hat the leather it all looks pretty realistic but we didn't go all the we didn't go all the way in terms of the steps this uh was a much smaller number of steps as well as this image here we're lacking color here so what i did was that for the renaissance beauty image here i prompted for vibrant colors and sometimes you need to do that with stable cascade now i think this image is beautiful i think it shows the ability of this software to produce really high quality and at about four megapixels this is larger than something that you get out of dolly 3 another steampunk theme i felt the colors here were, were a little bit rich a little bit too much a uh, little bit too much saturation and this is a an impressionist beauty it's interesting how quite a lot of the time the face is just in the upper half of the image it allows quite a lot of the body to come through the neck and the body and this is a viking beauty i think the headdress might have been a bit more complete and i think also i had to prompt for fur and leather just to make it look a little bit more authentic uh, most of the images were usable uh, only about maybe one in four in one in five images were unusable and this is an african beauty very vibrant colors and very nice background as well in a lot of these images i really like the way the eyes look you can tell that the eyes just look fairly natural and one of the problems with sdxl was that the eyes sometimes didn't look quite natural uh, japanese beauty and very vibrant colors but the colors remain natural they look realistic a lot of detail in the in, in the skin also in the hair another japanese beauty i was trying to see if it would work with the neck maybe making the neck a little bit less long but um it seems to like this shape for japanese women high-tech beauty really nice really nice really nice colors nice background a lot of high-tech detail and this one looks like an illustration but it was exactly the same kind of prompt an egyptian beauty another clockwork one here i prompted for fur and leather just to give it a more natural feel and i also feel that the clockwork prompt i use the clockwork prompt produce some nice detail inside of the steampunk theme this one was a woman from the stone age and i wanted beauty to cap i wanted to capture stone age beauty we once again have prompting for feathers leather for fur just to give it a more natural look and i want to also just quickly compare with dali 3 the images here are larger than anything we would get with dali 3 and i would say the quality is better as well they look more natural so i actually ran the same prompts with uh, dali 3 gemini and sdxl and generally sdxl and 
uh, stable skate were the best ones but occasionally with uh, Dali 3 it came up with a really nice image this one here is the Viking Beauty you can see there's an artifact here and this is the problem that we have with Dali 3 when you get an artifact like this you just have to run the prompt again it only gives you one image only one image at a time and you can't change that really when we saw the adverse right at the beginning of Dali 3 we saw four images and you could choose whichever one you wanted it's now a struggle to get more than one image and if the image has a fault in it which quite often happens you then have to sit there and really try to get it to produce something a bit more meaningful the faces always look the same they're always very beautiful very slender and it's very hard to prompt for the software to give you anything other than the same kind of image but that's the current situation with Dali 3 it seems to be sliding down below SDXL in terms of the usability still fairly high quality most of the time but stable skate I think at the moment is out on its own in terms of quality those images you saw those were not upscaled those were natural uh, de default scale for stable cascade